Welcome to the Elevate Coffee Date, where you ask a fitness-related question and I answer it every Friday. Today's question comes from Kate. Kate wants to know, what is the shortest period of time to work out that is still effective, and what exercise do you recommend for a very short workout? Kate, I love the way you think. I don't really consider myself to be someone that does exercise as a hobby. There are those people, but I don't really consider myself to be one of them, and most of the people that I connect with don't either. I exercise because I love the way that it makes me feel. I love the way that I look when I'm exercising regularly. So like you, I'm always looking to make, get the most bang for my buck. I believe that it is possible to get a very quality workout in a time frame of 20 to 25 minutes. Now, when you're looking at how effective a workout can be and, and the least amount of time frame that we need to put in before we can be effective, that does kind of be, need to be preceded by the question, well, what outcome are we looking for? For example, if you're looking for just a quick mood boost to help get you through an afternoon at work, well then maybe a five minute workout could be really effective. But I think what you're probably asking um, about is from both a weight loss and weight management perspective as well as a general overall health perspective. So that's kind of the answer that I'm giving it to you kind of under that lens. Now you may know that I used to work for the American Cancer Society, so when it comes to a chronic disease prevention perspective, I'm just going to give you their official guidelines for physical activity. Now they recommend 150 minutes of moderate activity every week. So they gauge it more by um, minutes per week rather than the individual workout itself. So either 150 minutes of moderate activity every week or 75 minutes a week of vigorous activity. So a moderate Moderate activity might be something like going for a walk or yard work, whereas that vigorous activity is going to be a little bit more intentional, kind of that athletic focus, a little bit more of what we think of as a workout, like running or swimming or lifting weights. So you ask what, which exercises I recommend for a very short workout. Well, obviously I think it's going to depend on if you're doing cardio or strength training. For cardio, you can do a number of exercises, but what I would recommend if you're sticking to that shorter 20 to 25 minute time frame is looking at doing some type of cardio interval work. So if you're not familiar with cardio intervals, um, sometimes it's referred to as like HIIT training, high intensity interval training. The basic concept is the same no matter if you're looking at Tabata or HIIT or just calling it interval trainings. It means getting your heart rate pretty high, so really pushing that pace of whatever you're doing. Yeah, that can be swimming, it can be being on the elliptical, uh, running. I'm going to treadmill, um, but whatever it is, really pushing that intensity level to a, kind of to the point that you don't really want to be able to have a conversation at that point. So getting that heart, heart rate pretty high for maybe one to two minutes and then recovering at about an equal recovery period just at a pace low enough so that you can recover your heart rate. So if you're doing cardio, I would recommend uh, looking at that cardio interval so that you're really pushing that pace and that intensity level during that time frame. Uh, and I also recommend maybe not every single workout being at high intensity intervals. So maybe you do have one or two workouts a week that are a, a tad bit longer than that 20 to 25 minutes. So maybe, maybe at least once or twice a week you're throwing in a 30, good 30, 45 minute, um, just regular nice moderate pace. Now when it comes to strength training, if you're trying to stay within that 20 to 25 minute uh, time frame, I recommend either lifting pretty heavy weights so that you can't really do more than eight or 10 reps, maybe 12 at the max, you're really kind of maxing out then. Either heavy weights or some type of body supported exercise that involves a lot of level changes. So some examples might be uh, like push-ups, tricep dips, um, squats, lunges, any of those things where you're really moving up and down, you're, body's really having to work, that's going to raise your heart rate, your muscles are really going to have to get after it to um, accomplish those exercises. So there you have it. I hope that answers your question. I hope you're happy with that answer. I think most of us um, will be relieved to know that we don't have to work out an hour every day to really get a lot of benefits of it. I think 20 to 25 minutes uh, can at least count for a lot of our workouts, if not every single one of them. So a great question. Thank you, Kate, for asking that. Uh, for more fitness coaching, I invite you to check out my free 14 Days to Fit Lifestyle Jumpstart. I'll post that link at the end. And of course, don't forget to ask your own question if you want to be included in the Elevate Coffee Date series, either by um, posting it in the comments below or else using a Twitter or Instagram question with the hashtag Elevate Coffee Date. I'll see you next week.